Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and today I'm doing a quick product review of the Orico Minimate external SSD with dock. And what's cool about this is it comes with two pre-installed NVMEs. One is rated at 3200 megabytes per second, and the secondary one is rated at 1000 megabytes per second. So you get four terabytes with this version of the Minimate. So full disclosure, Orico sent this to me to do a review on it, and you know, unfortunately, I'm not giving a very positive review but there are some benefits so we'll talk about those first it's got an SD card reader it's got a micro SD card reader it's got three USB a ports rated at 10 gigabits per second it does not have a USB C port except for the one that connects the device to your mini which is rated at 40 gigabits per second so on the left we have the internal Mac mini 256 gig drive and on the right we have the faster two terabyte Orico. And we're getting better write speeds with the Orico by about 800 megabytes per second when the Mac Mini actually gets up to 2000 megabytes per second write speed. There we go, it just hit it. But the Orico is faster. And if the Mac Mini had a two terabyte internal drive, it would be getting better speeds than it does with the 256 because it's gonna have a bigger cache and more NAND chips. And with amorphous disk mark, the Orico wins all the tests except for the last one the random write speeds. The Apple internal SSD is faster at writing tiny little files. But with the random test above it, it clobbers the Mac Mini pretty much double the speed. So overall, the Orico is faster in general. So just to compare the two Orico drives, the one on the left is the slower one, but we're getting way faster speeds than they say it's rated for. They say it only gets a thousand megabytes per second, but I'm getting all the way up to 1500. And as far as these small random read and writes, they're pretty much on par with each other. But there is one major flaw with this box. It's got an extremely loud fan. You know, it's a great idea to keep those NVMEs cool. This is not something you're gonna want on your desk because the Mac Mini is totally dead silent and this thing is really loud. And if I had it on the desk in front of me, no, I couldn't do it. So if you're going to use this for something like a server and your Mac mini is in a rack somewhere, or if it's out in your garage being a server, you know, something of that nature. But honestly, the fan is just too loud. The other problem I had is this USB-C cable that it ships with says it's rated at 40 gigabits per second. It's super nice braided golden tips, but the drives were ejecting. And I'm like, oh man, this thing is messed up. It just turned out to be that cable. And that just goes to show you gotta have a really good quality Thunderbolt 4 cable, USB 4 cable when you're running your home folder like I have in my video up here. What I wanted to do with this, I'll put Mac OS on the fast SSD and I'll put Time Machine on the other SSD. And while I was able to install Mac OS, no problem, that worked great. And I'm actually running it right now. Mac OS is running off this, not off the Mac mini. Then I thought, you know, you can use that second SSD for your Time Machine. But Mac OS has a bug that you can't back up your Macintosh HD to Time Machine when it's running on an external drive. You get an error. And I looked it up and it turns out, yeah, that's some kind of flaw with Sequoia when you're booting Mac OS off an external drive. So that's not the fault of the Orico as far as Time Machine is concerned. I tried Time Machine with the internal Macintosh HD and it backed up fine to the Orico. So it's an issue with the OS when it's running off an external drive. Something to know, right? Apple just keeps throwing wrenches into the OS to make you have to pay that Apple tax and want to get that internal storage. And as we know, Apple intelligence doesn't work when you're booting off an external drive, but that can be a plus for some. So, you know, while I can't really go out and recommend this for your average Mac mini user, it might have a use case for somebody who's 
running servers, or you want to use it for Time Machine and you just turn it on at night when you go to bed and let it do its backup then. So there are some use cases for it, but you got to be aware of the fan noise. That is a deal breaker for me. If I bought this with my own money, I would have returned it. For what I wanted it for, it doesn't make sense and it's not cheap okay anytime you're buying four terabytes of storage it's not going to be cheap this you're getting the extra benefit of the usb a ports and the card readers so you know it gives you a little something extra for your money but the fan is a deal breaker for me all right thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel give me that thumbs up and i'll see you on the next max sound solutions video